hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be explaining you the derivation for uh, discharge through a rectangular notch or rectangular wear do watch my earlier videos where i have discussed about uh, uh, expression for discharge through a rectangular notch as well as a stepped notch so you can in the figure you can see a, a triangular notch right so you can see yes this is the v notch okay this and this are the same so this is how a v notch will look and your v notch will be generally like this placed like this at the end of a open channel and from here the channel will start so this is your v notch so you can see uh, this point whatever you call uh, this v point this point is generally called as the apex point okay and the angle here is called as apex angle so this theta whatever you can observe in the diagram that's called as apex angle right so you can see uh, water is up to some level in this v notch so it will flow through the v notch so if the total height of water or just you can say the total nappy height is h and uh, even this point is also your crest point for your notch obviously why because the bottom part of a notch is called as crest right so this apex point only will be the crest point for v notch so rectangle uh, triangular notch is also called v notch because it looks like a v alphabet so now uh, let's come back to our diagram so if you observe in this diagram as shown o point is the apex point so let's consider a uh, elementary strip same as we did in a rectangular notch consider an elementary strip of thickness dh and uh, this elementary strip is at a distance of small h from uh, water surface in the notch and total height of the water surface in the notch from the apex point or from the crest point is capital H right so now if you zoom this part this is how it looks means if you draw exactly a center line from the O uh, so this looks like a right angle triangle so you have ACB or ACO sorry right so uh, now I'll explain you how to derive the value of Q now so h as told earlier height of the water above the v notch theta is angle of the v notch or also you can call it as apex angle so i'm considering an elementary strip of thickness dh which is at a height of small h from the free water surface and from the figure b so uh, figure b is nothing but this point a c o so if i'm just trying to draw a middle line for this notch so this uh, a c o is like a right angle triangle correct so from this right angle triangle what is tan theta by 2 what is generally tan tan is uh, opposite side by adjacent side correct so it is ac by oc or co so tan theta by 2 why it is theta by 2 because the total angle of the v notch is theta if i am drawing a center line obviously this side it will be theta by 2 and this side it will be theta by 2 so from this tan theta by 2 will be opposite side which is ac by adjacent side which is oc so tan theta is ac by oc i don't know the value of ac so let it be like that so ac by what is oc already from here to here the height is small h total height is capital h so what would be this distance obviously it will be h minus small h so that is oc is h minus small h so from here what is ac equal to this will go this side so it is h minus h into tan theta by 2 so ac what is ac it is half of your elementary strip so half of the elementary strip is h minus h into tan theta by 2 so what will be the total length of the elementary strip ab now it will be ta uh, twice ac but because we are we have drawn the line in the center so ab will be two times ac so width of the strip ab is equal to 2 into ac so it is 2 into h minus h into tan theta by 2 so therefore what will be the area of the elementary strip uh, even though it looks a little bit trapezoidal in shape but for our easy calculation we assume that the elementary strip is rectangular in shape so for rectangular elementary strip what is the formula for area it is width into thickness so width is how much ab thickness is dh already ab just now we calculated right 2 into h minus h into tan theta by 2 so that value into dh so this is the area we already know theoretical velocity is given by root 2 gh so therefore what was discharge through the strip dq or actual discharge when you are getting actual when you want actual discharge you have to multiply with coefficient of discharge so dq is equal to cd into area of the strip into theoretical velocity when you don't put the cd 
it dq is equal to area of the strip into theoretical velocity means it is theoretical discharge but when you are doing actual discharge you have to multiply with cd so dq is equal to cd into what is area of the strip just now we got 2 into h minus h into tan d by 2 into dh that value into theoretical velocity is root 2 gh so just try to rearrange the terms dq equal to so 2 came forward 2 cd h minus h tan d by 2 into root 2 gh dh so this is equation number 1 and this equation 1 gives the uh, discharge through the elementary strip okay but what do we want we want discharge through the entire notch so to get the discharge through the entire notch what do you have to do you have to just integrate it so integrating the above expression or equation 1 to get the total discharge in the notch that is also limits are from 0 to capital H why because when there is no water it is 0 when there is maximum amount of water we consider that height to be as capital H so the limits are from 0 to H so integral dq is equal to integration of 0 to H 2 into cd into h minus h into tan theta by 2 into root 2 gh dh what just now what we got our equation number 1 so integral dq becomes q so put all the constant outside we have two constant cd into h minus h into tan theta by 2 constant take it all out into root 2 uh, root 2 g is also constant take it out so inside we are left with root h dh and the limits are from 0 to uh, h uh, this h minus h is also inside so inside what we have inside the integration we have taken 2 cd tan theta by 2 and root 2 g outside what is left inside 0 to h h minus h and root h dh so h minus h into root h can be also written as h power 1 by 2 so it becomes h minus h into h power 1 by 2 dh that's all right so just uh, in the place of root h you are writing h power 1 by 2 now this outside value is also is always constant so it will be like that so i'm con i'm concentrating on what is there inside the integration so 0 to h just multiply the terms open the brackets h into h power 1 by 2 minus this is already h small h this is already small h power 1 by 2 so it's like a power m into a power n is equal to a power m plus n so it is h power 1 plus 1 by 2 3 by 2 finish now again come here now i'm doing the integration part so it's with respect to dh means small h so this h wherever you have small h that is to be integrated not others so this is capital h into what is h power 1 by 2 integration integration of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so in the place of x we have small h in the place of n we have 1 by 2 so it is capital h into small h power 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 minus this is again the same formula h power n plus 1 what is n 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 plus 1 which is uh, 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 n plus 1 so th it is 3 by 2 plus 1 which is 5 by 2 so h power 1 by 2 plus 1 is h power 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 minus h power 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 and the limits are from 0 to h so at the denominator you have 3 by 2 it comes up so it becomes 2 by 3 into uh, h into small h power 3 by 2 minus again denominator you have 5 by 2 it comes up 2 by 5 into small h power 5 by 2 by nothing else 2 by 5 into small h power 5 by 2 the limits are again from 0 to h now if you apply the limits it is 2 by 3 into capital h is always there so h into in the place of small h you have to substitute capital h so capital h power 3 by 2 minus 2 by 5 into in the place of small h substitute capital h power 5 by 2 minus uh, when you are applying the lower limit it is 0 into right so h into 0 power something this all becomes 0 so I am not writing that so finally 2 by 3 into this becomes h power 5 by 2 minus 2 by 5 into this becomes h power 5 by 2 so finally if you take lcm here it becomes 4 by 15 into h power 5 by 2 so if you can multiply this 4 and 2 which is already there outside finally our q becomes 8 by 15 into cd into tan theta by 2 into root 2 g into h power 5 by 2 that is the expression for discharge through a triangular or a v notch so there's nothing more difficult just you need to practice so only here in the during integration people generally do wrong but here it's very simple formula x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that if you remember you can just multiply and come back to this formula
say if you are using a right angled uh, v notch in the sense what do you mean by right angle v notch the apex angle whatever i call theta if it is 90 degrees just now as we have seen in the diagram means once you uh, cut the notch vertically uh, both the sides it is 45 degrees then what will be tan theta by 2 tan 90 by 2 is tan 45 tan 45 is 1 so this complete term becomes 1 so q will be 8 by 15 into say if cd value is 0.6 let's assume 8 by 15 into 0.6 into tan theta by 2 became 1 into root 2g into h power 5 by 2 g is already 9.81 if you substitute and simplify q will be 1.417 h power 5 by 2 so this is just a simplification purpose but all you have to remember is about equation number 2 which is expression for discharge through v notch so to calculate discharge you require the values of cd theta and h right that's how you need to uh, derive the expression for uh, discharge through v notch now let's see a few problems related to v notch so see the first question find the discharge over a triangular v notch of angle 60 degrees when head over the notch is 0.3 meters cd is 0.6 this is a very basic uh, model problem so according to given data theta is 60 degrees capital H is 0.3 meters and CD is 0.6 directly take the formula of Q which is 8 by 15 into CD into tan theta by 2 into root 2G, 2G into H power 5 by 2 just substitute all the values we got 0 0.040 meter cube per second a basic model of problem let's go for the next model which is important water flows over a rectangular via 1 meter wide at a depth of 150 mm and afterwards passes through a triangular right angled via Taking CD for the rectangular and triangular wear as 0.62 and 0.59 respectively, find depth over the triangular wear. So, this question is a little bit tricky. He is telling that first water is flowing through the rectangular wear. See, you already know, derivation for discharge through wear and notch are the same. So, he is telling water is first flow uh, entering into the rectangular notch and after flowing through the rectangular notch, that water is again entering into triangular notch. So, first water is entering or flowing through rectangular and then it is coming to triangular. He is asking us to calculate when this water from the rectangular notch is coming back to triangular notch, what is the H value he is asking. Okay, let's do. So, for rectangular wear, what is the data given? Uh, he is giving 1 meter wide. So, L is 1 meter. Depth of 150 mm means depth of water in the rectangular wear H was 150 mm which is 0 0.15 meters. And CD value is given which is 0.62 next related to triangular wear he told right angled triangular wear means theta is 90 degrees cd for uh, triangular wear is 0.59 we don't know what is the depth over the triangular wear right that's what we need to calculate let it be h1 so what is first water is flowing through the rectangular notch right so let's calculate what is the discharge through the rectangular notch first so formula for uh, discharge through rectangular notch is 2 by 3 into cd into l into root 2g into h power 3 by 2 this we are already derived so it's 2 by 3 into what is cd for rectangular notch 0 0.62 into l is 1 into under root of 2 into 9.81 into 0.15 whole power 3 by 2 so i got around 0 0.10635 meter cube per second now this 0 0.1065 meter cube per second is going where is directly moving into the triangular notch correct so discharge whatever has come out from rectangular notch will be the same for triangular notch that's what you have to remember why because once it is flowing through the rectangular notch then only it is moving directly into triangular notch so the discharge whichever is coming out from rectangular notch that's why we calculated that q will be the same discharge for triangular notch but the thing is we need to calculate height h so triangular notch formula discharges 8 by 15 cd tan theta by 2 into root 2g into h power 5 by 2 so whatever q you got for uh, rectangular notch this value 0 0.10635 substitute here 8 by 15 into cd was 0 0.59 given to us into tan 90 by 2 into root 2 into 9.81 into h1 we don't know let it be h1 power 5 by 2 so just simplify he'll get h1 value as 0 0.3572 is that clear so one when it is flowing from one notch to the other notch means we have to calculate the discharge of first notch and you have to apply the same discharge for the second notch this question may be vice versa also means the problem may start that water is flowing through a triangular notch and then it is entering into rectangle same way this is how you need to solve let's see the next model of problem a rectangle channel 2 meter wide has a discharge of 250 liter per second measured by a right angled v notch pier 
find the position of the apex of the notch from the bed of the channel if maximum depth of water is not to exceed 1.3 meters to exceed equal to 0.62 again the same model of problem but uh, the unknown what he's asking us is little bit different let's uh, let's see very carefully again rectangular channel is given width is 2 meters means l is 2 meters q is given 250 liter per second convert to meter cube per second divide by 1000 it's 0.25 Again, it's a right angled V-notch. Okay, before going to that, let's see uh, CD. CD is 0 0.62. Okay, it's common. Okay, it's for, uh, uh, yeah, it's common. Uh, next, uh, what is that here? We need to calculate depth of water is how much? 0 0.3 given, 1.3 given, sorry. So, depth of water is 1.3 meter, but this depth of water is not in the notch. It's in the complete channel. Next, um, what is that we need to calculate find the position of apex of the notch from the bed of the channel before that let's calculate what is the head in the notch let it be capital h so discharge through v notch is given by the formula 8 by 15 cd root 2 g into tan theta by 2 into h power 5 by 2 cd is 0 0.62 theta is 90 so put up the formula calculate for h h came as 0 0.493 meters but now he is asking us what is the position of the apex point means if you remember just now i have shown you in the diagram of v notch the apex point and from the bed of the channel so if this is your notch again this line is your bed of the channel this is your apex point he is asking this distance what distance you can observe in between my two fingers this distance is asking how much is the apex from the bed of the channel is asking what did we get the total h value 0.493 meters what is h value 0.493 means what it is from the apex to some level in the channel this height we got correct total depth of the channel he already gave right 1.3 meter we know total depth 1.3 from here to here in channel we know it is 0.493 so what will be this distance is 1.3 minus this so which is 1.3 minus 0.493 so it is 0 0.807 meters right so this is how you have to solve problems related to uh, notches especially triangular notch so i hope you all understood the video thanks for watching